Thousands of demonstrators rallied nationwide Saturday, a week after the acquittal of George Zimmerman and the shooting death of unarmed African-American teenager Trayvon Martin. In New York City, Trayvon Martin's mother, Sabrina Fulton, addressed a rally of hundreds in front of police headquarters. As I sat in the courtroom, my Lord, it made me think that they were talking about another man. Yes. And it wasn't. It was a child who thought as a child, who acted yes. as a child, who behaved as a child. And don't take my word for it, he had a drinking candy. So not only, not only do I bow to you to do what I can for Trayvon Martin, I promise you I'm going to work hard for your children as well, because it's important. Sabrina Fulton was joined by speakers, including the Reverend Al Sharpton. The musicians Jay-Z and Beyonce were among those in attendance, drawing calls from the crowd of Boycott Florida after Stevie Wonder's announcement last week. Wonder said he won't perform in any state with Stand Your Ground laws in effect. The justice for Trayvon rallies were held in dozens of other cities, including Miami and Orlando, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Oakland and Atlanta. On Friday, President Obama surprised reporters in the White House briefing room by delivering his first public remarks on the death of Trayvon Martin since Zimmerman's acquittal. In comments that touch not only on the racial elements of the shooting, but on the broader issue of racial profiling, Obama said Trayvon Martin could have been him as a young man. Obama announced no policy changes or actions in response to Zimmerman's acquittal, but he questioned the stand-your-ground laws that delayed Zimmerman's arrest and were included in jury instructions. For those who, uh, who resist that idea that we should think about something like these stand your ground laws, uh, I just ask people to consider if Trayvon Martin was of age and armed, could he have stood his ground on that sidewalk? And do we actually think that uh, he would have been justified in shooting Mr. Zimmerman? Uh, who had followed him in a car because he felt threatened. Um, and if the answer to that question is at least ambiguous, then it seems to me that we might want to examine those kinds of laws. We'll have more from President Obama's remarks and the weekend justice for Trayvon protests after headlines with Dr. Cornell West.